Hey Exoticals, I am back with another video. I want to talk about, I want to elaborate on the term Exoticals and what exactly it means. So, I'm going to pull up the actual definition according to Urban Dictionary. An exotical is a beautiful black woman with biracial or multiracial ancestry. An exotical is a woman who is mixed race or appears to be mixed race. Or appears to be mixed race. Exoticals are women who benefit from pretty privilege and they are often considered preferences due to their beauty according to Urban Dictionary. So basically, any feature that you have that makes you look exotic to the black community, in other words, whatever you, basically, if you benefit from any isms, which is colorism, featureism, or texturism, you are considered an exotical in this space. This term exoticals was coined by Exoticals United, it's more than skin deep, it's features and hair texture as well. That goes for my darker skin exoticals. I can only speak from a light skin experience. That's why my channel mainly focuses on light skin, but there are dark skin exoticals out there that have type one, two, and three hair textures and have keen features. So they are considered an exotical. Now, when I use the term monoracial on this channel, this is what I mean by monoracial. Both of your parents identify with the same race. And in this space, it's the black, the African American race that we are hyper focused on. Hello, people. <laughs> this is Kashawn Rock, mother. And Free Band has hit the streets again. So when I, so this channel focuses on monoracial exoticals basically means you have either keen features light skin or or type one two or three hair textures or two of the three if you have all three you're probably mixed race more than likely and we're all exoticals at the end at the end of the day my channel just hyper focuses on monoracial exoticals because that's the only experience i can talk about so some of you still need help on the topic of what's the difference between race, ethnicity, and nationality. This is how I can put it in the most general sense. Race would be a really broad category of people that share similar physical characteristics like skin color or facial features. Ethnicity would be a more specific group within race that share more physical features but cultural characteristics as well. And nationality is one sense of belonging to a state regardless of whether they share the same race or ethnicity as the original people of that state. I am multicultural only because of my father being in the military and me moving all over the world. I lived in Asia, Europe, all over the Americas. So I've experienced multiple races to the point where I feel like I am multicultural. I thrive better in diverse environments when there's a nice amount of diversity. If it's like a monoracial environment i tend to not thrive as much i notice for example like if i'm in an all white environment i will feel uncomfortable if i'm in an all black environment i also feel some type of way because the way that i look the way that i talk because i talk white to a lot of black people they feel like i'm stuck up I'm bougie, I want to be white, so that's why I can't thrive in those spaces. I have a great grandmother who is Native American, which, which is the reason why my phenotype looks like this. That's why I call my channel Pretty In Between because I'm in between, like I get thrown in and out of blackness because of my features and my skin color. I have two of the three isms. I have four I think I have four, type four hair, type four A at the top of my hair, and then back of my hair is like type four B. So that's my hair texture. Both of my parents are black, African American. I just came out light skin, and we're basically using this word exoticals because it was used 
it was used to bully light-skinned women. So we're just taking the word back. Just like we took the N-word back. We're claiming it and owning it. I know for me, I get thrown in and out of blackness because if you would have, if you throw a wig on me, I literally could look like a Ethiopian woman, Indian woman, easy. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I'm pursuing acting and modeling. I just received an agent and everything, and my agent every now and then will send me castings. And they're very strict about castings as far as how you're supposed to look and how you need to fit for the job. They're very strict on that when they're casting. So my agent is not going to send me nothing that I don't fit the role for. But every now and then, she'll send me something that says Pacific Islanders needed. As a matter of fact, I just recently got a... a um, she sent me something recently that was hot. That was casting for that Disney movie Moana. And they needed Pacific Islanders for the movie. And she sent me that. And I was like... I. I I know I look like I'm Indian or Pacific Islander or, or Hawaiian, but I'm not. I'm I'm all full black. So I mean, I like I guess they think I could. I don't know why she sent me that, but they're very strict on looks in this industry, and you have to be very specifically looking like the job. So I'm like, does she know? She knows I'm black, right? <laughs> so, but yeah. So that's why I wanted to make a channel. This is also therapy. It's therapy in this channel to be able to vent and talk about these things because I kept it I kept it in for so long. I know a lot of us have. Like we're just getting popular. We're just getting up on the algorithm. Like for so long we've been silent. So we're now we're speaking out. I see all the channels popping up every day. I follow every single new channel that I see from the Exoticals community, the Golden Sphere. So I'm so happy for us. We need this space. We need we need we need a voice. It's our turn to talk. I don't know how many times I've been told I've been asked where am I from? Where am I from? I know this one dude that used to work here at my job. I said work here because I'm currently at job. I'm on my break. But yeah, um, he used to always ask me where am I from, and I always always think in my head, what do you mean where am I from? Don't I look black to you? Because in my head, I don't, I think I'm look black. For so long, I thought I was just a regular black girl to some extent, but people always made me feel like something was different about me. But it took me all these years to realize it's because of colorisms and isms is the reason why I get thrown in and out of blackness, even though I thought I was just a regular black girl like everybody else. All the black girls I saw on TV looked like me. But they call them black girls. But, you know, with this exotic environment, I... And listening to Exoticals United, I'm learning that it's just a bunch of Exoticals that they're calling as black women on the media a lot of the times. A lot of them are biracial. A lot of them are mixed passing or biracial or multicultural for the most part. I mean, otherwise we wouldn't be talking about colorism right now if colorism wasn't real. It's real in Hollywood. I know features play a huge part us monoracial monoracial exoticals we tend to get treated like biracials just to, to an extent because of our either features hair or skin color we pretty much get treated like them if you have like a type 4 hair or let's say you just have light skin but you have more afrocentric features and tight for hair, you'll get bullied for that. When you think about that, it's like, why are they bullying this light-skinned girl and calling her ugly? Why is she ugly? Why are people saying if she were dark-skinned? So this tweet, basically of a woman who took another woman's photo, and the woman in the photo is a lighter complected woman and the tweeter basically said that if she was that skinned she would be considered ugly and she put at the beginning no shade we all know that was all shade okay so why would she be considered ugly if she was darker skinned and i guess for some people 
you could interpret that tweet as she was essentially trying to acknowledge the fact that amongst black people, darker skinned is less favorable. But I see it a bit different. I think that it's a fact that she chose that specific picture of a lighter skinned black woman. I'm not sure if she's mixed, but I'm just going off what I um, know in regards to the tweet. Let's just assume she was a lighter skinned black woman. And as we can see, she has fuller features. I think that, in my opinion, it shows a deep seated insecurity because, for starters, this was completely unprovoked. Apparently, the picture of the lady, of the girl, the light skinned girl, it was actually posted on her birthday. And I find that pretty tasteless that person on Twitter decided to use her picture to acknowledge colorism amongst black people why is she ugly why are people saying if she were dark skin that she would be ugly that's what that sounds like to me is because of her afrocentric features makes her ugly and that just says a lot about the people who say these things like no one said afrocentric features were ugly like it doesn't make any sense to me Futurism is a whole video I need to do. Because let me tell you, if it were not for the features that I have, my experience would be completely different. I have type 4 hair. My skin, I have my, like my Fenty shade is 330. So I'm at the same complexion as probably Holly Bailey. Like literally me and her be sisters like our features our skin color i have a super yellow undertone like every every like all my foundation shades say caramel something on it so like i always have the warm colors it will say warm or caramel in my foundation shades but yeah if you have like 85 85 percent more mixture of african-american blood in you you just happen to come out either light skin, keen features, or a certain texture of hair. Then congratulations, you are an exotical. Even if you have one of the three, two of the three, if you get treated differently than your counterparts who are African American, because of how you look, you're more than likely an exotical. And the reason why I put mixed race women in my um, videos, I wanna show that we do get confused with each other a lot of the times. A lot of us do look like each other. I know I have a similar phenotype of Tia and Tamara. And they're biracial women. They're just black passing. So I can basically pass as a biracial black passing woman. So that's why I, because I believe in representation being very important. But I, I throw biracial women because they're part of the exoticals community for one of course but you know i want to promote more monoracial black women because representation representation is very important so the more of us we see you know it'll be good for the self-esteem of upcoming girls it's just very important to see representation just wanted to make a channel that expresses the feelings and experiences of the exotical monoracial woman because I myself am one and I feel like a lot of us you know our voices get taken away from us because of either you get guilted out of it people make you feel stuck up for or vain, or you think you're better, you'll get, you'll get everything negative when you express yourself as an exotical. But no more of that. We are human beings with emotions, feelings, trauma, experiences, and hate. Let you be an exotical and very pretty, that just comes with more problems. All those exoticals, we need to support each other. We're here for each other. 
I'm here. I'm going to I'm going to follow every exotical I see like I said. So I'm so excited to see where this community is going. I'm so excited for us. I'm I love it here. So yeah, that's all I wanted to basically say. I just wanted to explain what an exotical is just to clarify it for others. Yes, you can be dark skinned and be exotical as long as you benefit from one of the three isms, colorism, featureism, texturism. Just for clarification, this channel is for exoticals, specifically exoticals who are monoracial. So let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.